change it and make it better. That is the goal of so many entrepreneurs as they try to disrupt an industry and improve the user experience. In the past eight years, Eventbrite has made event planning easy. It gives users a platform to organize, promote, and ticket events of all kinds in one place. And this global brand has altered the landscape for good. Julia Hartz, one of Eventbrite's co-founders, tells us what it takes to be a disruptor and why she believes an innovator's job is never done. A disruptor is a person or a team of people or a technology that changes the way in which we live. There's so much status quo out in the world. A disruptor looks at that and understands how it can be done differently. If I had to boil it down to what defines a disruptor, it would be the fearlessness to do something that's never been done before and to fail. We're constantly doing things that are just on the brink of failure or might be the worst idea ever. But when they do work, and very few of them are great successes, that's when true disruption can be possible. It's almost commonplace here and normal at Eventbrite for us to go into a room and take a whiteboard and completely redefine some sort of status quo or some sort of assumption or the way that everybody else is doing it. And that is natural behavior at a disruptor company. I call myself an unsuspecting entrepreneur because I was never the kid with the lemonade stand. I was a ballerina, so I'm really good at doing what I'm told and taking direction. But basically, I met a great co-founder who is also my husband, Kevin Hartz, and we paired up with Renault Visage and really started to think about ways in which we could change the world using technology. So we were sitting at the intersection of technology and live experiences, and we were wondering how we could bring the two together. And we thought, well, how can we make ticketing a better experience? That was our first disruption, was to create an open platform that anyone could use to sell tickets. Eventbrite has changed the landscape by making it possible for hundreds of thousands of event organizers all over the world to create these live experiences. We've taken a human approach to customer service and we've scaled that. What people don't know is actually we disrupted ourselves way back when. We decided that we were going to charge a ticket fee for paid tickets, but we didn't really think about what would happen when somebody entered zero into the ticket fee box. When we realized that we weren't charging any fees for free events, we thought, well, you know, at the very least, this will give us a competitive ad advantage. It absolutely is possible to continue to disrupt. I think we're not even, we don't even see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have so much more work to do. The little secret about disruption is that you don't have to just be disrupting others or disrupting an industry. You start to think about ways in which you disrupt your own way of doing things and how you exist. And that's when the real fun starts. I think one of the exciting things that's happened this year is has been disrupting the reserve seating market. We had never actively ticketed a reserve seating event. It was an extremely exciting time for the company because a very small group of people within Eventbrite got together to build this product in a very short amount of time. We've been inspired by other disruptors in the past, you know, Salesforce or even Amazon, if you think about how crazy people thought they were in the beginning to have such a grand vision. And I think what's exciting about being a disruptor is when you can actually step back and say, wow, we've created something really massive here.